a welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am kind of doing a little bit of a twist of what I normally do. And I'm kind of doing this in light of the whole government shutdown. Um, we have plenty of military mamas on here that go ahead and watch my channel. And I kind of feel like we have been in a similar situation when I left and I stopped working back when my son was one and we had to like eliminate one entire paycheck. And so my husband, we were coming back from Arizona. We went out there for a concert and he was like, hey, there was a government shutdown. Um, you know, you should do a video on your grocery shopping and the meals that you used to do back when we like had to cut out almost everything. And when you're looking at, you know, losing somebody's paycheck whether it's yours or your husband's or wife's it's a lot and so what's the main thing that is probably one of the easiest things to cut down and back off of which is eating out goes down to nothing and then also watch your grocery shopping and i didn't know even how much a tomato cost back in the day and i like really learned how to grocery shop and how to take like one two three like items that are affordable and really turn it into a couple different meals in different ways and really put on the table a healthy um meal that filled the bellies of my family so ultimately and that's what this video is all about so i'm calling this the government shutdown food challenge so um government shut down on friday today saturday i plan on this video going up on sunday so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys basically my meal plan show you guys the groceries that i bought how much i spent and then i'm gonna start cooking and show you guys the different type of meals that you can do with the food that i purchased all this food is basically going to be based around ground beef so if you guys like this type of video i can go ahead and do another one on chicken another one just on pastas another one on mexican food whatever it is but this particular one i went and bought a big old honking thing of ground beef and i'm going to show you different meals and different ways that you can go ahead and cook it to save money and put dinner on the table and turn it into breakfast and everything like that so my budget for this was of 45 dollars and i literally spent 44 dollars and 36 cents so i was extremely proud of myself i'm gonna grab my phone show you guys the meals that i'm gonna get out of this show you guys what i bought and then we're gonna get cooking okay guys so this is what i came up with when i do meal planning this way i like to write everything down so the game plan is to do sloppy joes with mac and cheese um beef patties and a brown gravy with mashed potatoes and a side salad um a twist on philly cheesesteaks we're gonna put them in bell peppers and then i'm going to show you guys how to take the buns from leftover from the sloppy joes and turn those into grilled cheese sandwiches now like i said my budget was 45 dollars and i even picked up a couple extra fruit as well as some inexpensive dessert just to show you guys that you can still make it in budget and still even give the kids a dessert okay you guys so this is everything that i purchased so we're gonna go ahead and start off over here with the minute rice it was a dollar 98 they didn't have any small boxes of the great value the walmart brand so i went ahead and picked that up got a box of the mashed potatoes for a dollar i got a pack of mushrooms for a dollar 78 um it was cheaper to buy them in whole than i'm just gonna slice them up myself i got in this pack of one pound of oven roasted chicken breast for five dollars and 86 cents and this can go inside some eggs with bell pepper tomato inside um, for breakfast this can go on a salad so this is actually really really good to have on hand 
So I got these uh, popsicles right here. It comes with a 12 count. And for 12 popsicles, which these are also gluten-free, um, this was only $1.72. So you can get 12 popsicles. They had some lemon, lime ones. They had a couple different flavors, but my daughter chose this one. And yeah, they were only $1.72, so that is awesome. I got two cucumbers. They were 50 cents each, so that came out to a dollar. I got four bell pepper and they were 50 cents a piece. So I got them for $2 and I'm gonna use these for a twist on Philly cheesesteaks along with breakfasts in the morning. I got this big old thing of a shredded mozzarella for $4.22. This is gonna go in the grilled cheese. It's gonna go for tacos, gonna go for breakfasts in the morning with eggs, a salad with that chicken breast. Um, also with the Philly cheesesteaks, we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. So this is the five pound pack of ground beef that I was telling you guys about. We're gonna go ahead and divide that up and make sure that there is enough meat and enough meals for exactly what I am doing. And that came out to a total of $14.22. I got one mango for 58 cents. I got one onion and that came out to 20 cents because it is a little guy. Um, I got one pack of macaroni and cheese for 98 cents. I got the pack of corn tortillas for $1.32. I got one avocado for either the tacos or it can go um, in the morning on top of some scrambled eggs with some onion, mushrooms, bell peppers, and stuff like that. And I got that for 60 cents. I got two oranges, they were 58 cents a piece, so they came to a total of $1.16. I got some hamburger buns, which are gonna go for the Sloppy Joes, and also grilled cheese sandwiches for 88 cents. I got some tomatoes that came out to $1.52. I got two Gala apples for 73 cents a total. I picked up two packets of brown gravy to go in some patties and mashed potatoes, and those were 46 cents a piece. I got 12 count of eggs for $1.27, iceberg lettuce for 98 cents, and that is it. So the whole idea is to be able to buy something in bulk and basically have it go for a couple different meals, whether it's the ground beef, whether it's taking bell peppers and cooking it up for dinner, but then turning it around and also using it for breakfast. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with all this. So let's get cooking. Okay, so I do have stuff like staples, like milk and butter and items like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can take hamburger buns and turn it into a grilled cheese sandwich. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hamburger bun and instead of having the hamburger bun like normal, you're gonna take it and you're gonna flip it around and this is the side that you're gonna get nice and toasty. So all you're gonna do, seeing how this side's flat and this side is not so much flat, we're gonna take this and kind of smash it down a little bit to turn it into the same shape as the other one. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna split up the brown beef. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my phone, I'm gonna see my meals that I have planned with the ground beef. Then I'm gonna go ahead, just set my phone down, no more touching it. I'm gonna wash my hands and come back to this and then start slicing it up to make sure that I have enough, exactly what I need for the meals that I'm gonna be cooking. Okay guys, so this is what I ended up with. So I pretty much have one, two, three, four, five, six mils that I got out of that one pack of ground beef.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out half of the onions and mushrooms and put them into a plastic container and I will tell you guys what I'm gonna do with this later on. Now I'm just gonna be adding some Italian seasoning in to the onion and mushroom mixture. And then back in the beef goes. Okay, so I just pulled out the bell peppers from being in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes or so just to get a cook, a jump start on the cooking. Now what I'm gonna do is take our mozzarella cheese that we used for our grilled cheese sandwich. We're using the same cheese. I'm gonna place a little bit down at the bottom. And now I'm gonna take our mixture of the mushrooms, onions, and ground beef with Seasoned salt, garlic salt, and Italian seasoning, and then we're gonna place them right inside the bell peppers. Now we're gonna take the cheese and place them right on top. Back in the oven they go. I'm gonna put up the temperature to 375 for about another 15, 20 minutes, or just until you can tell that the bell peppers are cooked all the way through. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same pan that I just did the vegetables in. I'm gonna place back in my mushrooms with the onions that I separated earlier. I'm gonna add in a half a bell pepper. Then I'm just gonna turn on the stove, let the bell pepper cook up, and then we're gonna put this inside an egg for frittata for the morning time. So now what we're gonna do is I took just a pie dish and I sprayed it with some Pam. We're gonna put in our vegetables put in our egg mixture right on top this is actually five eggs that I scrambled in here so now we're gonna pop this in the oven and just keep an eye on it until the egg is cooked all the way through and breakfast is gonna be cooking along with dinner be making some sloppy joes this is a super simple super easy and remember those buns that we used for the grilled cheese sandwiches we're gonna use them for the sloppy joes okay you guys the way we do our sloppy joes is super easy put seasoned salt and ground beef and then just add some ketchup and when it cooks up it kind of like makes this like nice thick sauce on it and that is it that is our sloppy joes it's literally done in minutes pair it up with some mac and cheese and a side of fruit and there you go. Next up, we have some beef patties in a gravy. So I just do them kind of like little hamburgers. I'm gonna put some seasoned salt, also some garlic salt. And then while that is cooking up, I'm gonna follow the packet um, instructions to the brown gravy. We're gonna let that thicken up and then we're gonna pour it right on in to the patties. It comes out so good, but you have to make sure to season up the patties so then everything kind of has its own seasoning. So when it mixes together, it comes out great. Pair it up with some mashed potatoes. You already have the gravy for it and it turns out wonderful. Okay, you guys, I hope this video helps you out, whether you are a part of the government shutdown or you're not, or you're just trying to watch what you're spending. Um, you know, I've been there, we've done that, and I just wanted to make sure that I'm able to help you guys out as much as possible. You know, when us mamas are backed up against the wall, we pretty much do whatever it takes to go ahead and get through it. So if you have any more ground beef recipes, leave them down below so then we can kind of add it to it. And like I said, if you guys want another one just like this, but based on chicken, based on pasta, based on veggies, just let me know and I can go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.